you know, when she was into drugs, and I, we didn't know. I, to be honest with you, it shows you how naive parents can be. I didn't realise. I didn't know. I, I can't imagine what I was thinking about, but I didn't know the extent of her problem until maybe four months before she decided to quit. So I think it was about the April before the August that she dis that I found out, and I spent my time fighting with drug dealers. And I mean proper fighting. And I'm a, you know, I'm a middle-aged man who was overweight and having fist fights with people, you know. But my life was on the line, and we prevailed. We won. Well, she decided to stop. And, and one of the reasons that she decided to stop because she was she witnessed all this stuff going on, uh, you know, of how her family and her friends were fighting gangsters, and she decided that she didn't want to put her family in that position anymore, you know. So we prevailed. So these were like drug dealers in her circle? No, not in her circle, but we knew who, who they were and we had to deal with it. The way that you have to do whatever you can to protect your daughter. If you're talking about her close circle, you know, there were a few negative influence, influences in her close circle that we didn't realise were negative influences. They were the ones who were arranging the drugs. We've spoken about Blake, who went to prison, uh, he would he would get drugs for Amy. You know, here's a man who loves her, and he did love her. He loved Amy, and his way of showing that he loved her was to give her more drugs. You know, it's preposterous, but that's, that's the way that drug addicts are.